Hello, my name is Kevin Dunn. I'm with Dalhousie University Industry Liaison Innovation Office. And I'm pleased to speak here today at the Atlantic Aerospace and Defense Connector. And I would like to present some of the application strengths that is relevant to this sector from Dalhousie University. A little bit about Dalhousie, what is it? Uh, there's over 19,000 students um, with over 4,000 grad students, uh, international students from all across the, country, the world, really, uh, 13 faculties founded in 1818. We have approximately 1,100 researchers that work in everything that I've ever been asked uh, to have research conducted on. We're a, a member of the U15, which is the uh, top research intensive universities in Canada. And our current uh, research enterprise is, is in the, uh, um, the amount of over $184 million annually. So some of the strengths that I'd like to talk about are not that we just have one or two people working in something, but we would be considered world-class in, in these key areas. We would have other pockets of strength that would be maybe of interest to you, but these are some that I'd like to uh, highlight. Uh, one is materials, uh, two is oceans, ocean uh, technology, health and life sciences, agriculture, aquaculture, and computer science. So a little bit more about each one. So in materials, we do a tremendous amount in thin film, film, thin film deposition of materials. Uh, a lot of, um, uh, uh, this ties in with the last bullet point, the thin film deposition actually is one of our main underpinning for energy storage, uh, battery technologies. Uh, we do a lot in coatings, uh, thermal corrosion, energy reasons, uh, wear surfaces. We're uniquely placed that we have a group that works in ceramics. Uh, we have a very active group in additive manufacturing, and this includes uh, uh, metal, uh, printable met metal powders, but uh, uh, instead of just ordering those out of a catalog, they can actually design the powder powders for very specific reasons, which is, all, is of interest to the sector. In oceans, we have uh, 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 groups that do a wide variety of ocean devices for a wide variety of reasons. Monitoring, including acoustical monitoring, signal analysis, uh, various mo modeling, both modeling uh, uh, of, of um, subsea as well as uh, uh, ocean currents and whatnot. We have a very active group in atmospheric science that includes LIDAR and uh, uh, quite a lot of work on autonomous uh, underwater systems, both water systems above ground and underwater. Health and life sciences may seem not particularly relevant to this sector, but I've found that it actually is. So we do quite a lot of work in biomedical devices, uh, medical physics, uh, optical and hearing technologies, technologies, a lot of imaging and human interfaces. The fact that our faculty of uh, medicine is cross appointed to the two teaching hospitals, we've seen a lot of interest in aerospace and defense companies in personalized medicine, uh, uh, applications and solutions that have been done for hearing augmentation actually can be very interesting for other non-health and life science applications. The fourth is agriculture and aquaculture. Why I think this is relevant and interesting, we do a tremendous amount of precision agriculture, uh, quite a lot of work with drones and automation, and agriculture in particular, the robots are absolutely taking over, so there's a lot of autonomy, a lot of uh, data and sensor uh, development. Uh, do a good bit of work on land-based aquaculture as well as feed trials for a lot of aquaculture work. Do a good amount in uh, environmental monitoring, including biomass, and uh, maybe less relevant, but who knows, around food safety and supply chain. The last area, um, I guess I'm, uh, uh, been in this job long enough. I used to call this ITC, but now we just call it computer science because of the big data, artificial intelligence, machine learning. We do a lot in ocean data analytics. Uh, we have a project in uh, deep sense around ocean uh, data analytics. Uh, we do a lot in visual uh, analytics as well, as well as mobile interfaces. Um, we uh, don't have a, a, a huge group on cybersecurity, but on actual system and security of networks, we do have groups that are very active in that area. And lastly, I have my contact information uh, here, and I certainly will be available for questions when the time permits. Thank you.